a, a, a power a day and you only get you know you're gonna take away your ability to travel okay that's their ultimate goal man all right they, they just want they want you as worker bees okay uh, uh, plugged into the internet of things okay a cyborg that's your future and and and, and that's what you people want that's what a lot of it's like it that's what a lot of you people want man you want to be a, a, a chip okay you want to get that new TV and be a part of and be a part of this madness you know that's why and see Jake out here all he gives a fuck about is getting high and, and, and because I mean it, it's all around right now man. okay you know Jake out here all he all he's doing out here is smoking his brains out man. all right not knowing that that's his end. If you wanna, if you wanna play ball and you wanna bow down your knee to the image, all right, of the beast, and you wanna worship that image, okay, which is his system, okay, you wanna be a part of this. That's what it's gonna be like, man. You're gonna be a cyborg. You're not even gonna, at that point, you, you're not even gonna be a, a human, okay. And that's why the Most High is, is gonna burn you, man, in that lake of fire which that lake of fire is right here in america okay and this place because this place is going to be turned into a lake of fire when those nukes hit man all right it says for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be what famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places so in various places throughout the earth there's going to be a serious things happening famine okay pestilence and earthquakes all right yeah, and, he, and he, hey, these pestilences all right, are starting to cleave to you uh, modern day Egyptians, man. All right, all these poxes, uh, uh, all these various, uh, 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 you know, illnesses and sicknesses, okay? And, 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 and we understand, okay, that uh, uh, Esau is doing a lot of uh, 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 wicked things behind the scenes and creating these things. All right, but ultimately, at the end of the day, it's the most high, Yahweh Shimei Shai, okay, working, all right, uh, 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 through Satan on the left-hand side, through these elites, man, to bring you these illnesses, to bring you these diseases, and they're cleaving to you, man. They're sticking to you, and it's, 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 it's just like it says in the, in, in the curses in Deuteronomy 20th chapter, that the, the sicknesses and diseases of Egypt are going to cleave to you, man. All right? Yeah, man, you... It's, you know, hey, it's getting crazy out here, man. And that's why you gotta constantly be thanking you all about you outside, thanking the Lord, you know, for having you in the right frame of mind, for having you sober, you know, in the spirit, you know, for keeping you in, in sound doctrine, you know, for, for keeping the spirit on you, man. Verse eight, all these are the beginning of sorrow. So if you wanna look at the timeline, you know, we, you can say, well where, well, where are we right now? We're in the beginning of sorrows, man. This, this is just the very beginning stages of these things, man. This is the very beginning stages. You know, we're getting ready to experience, again, various rioting, you know, food riots, class riots, race riots, water riots. You know, the famines, the, the pestilences. I mean, and you can clearly see famine. You know, go to the grocery store when you do your shopping or, you know, running into a supermarket or, or, or a gas station. And you can see the, but whether it's inflation or uh, uh, just a, a lack of inventory, you can clearly see a famine coming, man. Okay? You can clearly see it. And again, a lot of that's engineered, okay, by these wicked elites. But at the end of the day, it's how about Shimei Asha? Because the Lord said, He does all these things, man. Okay, how about Shimei Asha is in control of this, all right? It says, all these are the beginning of sorrows, verse 8, verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And that's 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 coming, man. You know, uh, the hour of temptation. Okay, being um, persecuted simply based on what you believe. Not for what you do, okay, because we're not out here hurting anybody. And we don't hurt, we don't, we're not here touching anyone, okay. But it's going to be but based on what you believe, not what you do, what you believe. So if you believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahshua and you believe the testimony of the prophets, then you you could be delivered up to be afflicted, man. Not, not, not everybody is gonna um, 
experienced that, but that is going to be the lot of some men. You know, some men will have to speak before kings and governors even, man, and tell them, you know, that their kingdom is getting ready to be destroyed, all right? And at that time, Yahweh Shah said, you know, don't worry, don't worry what, uh, oh, oh, that was almost ugly. You know, Yahweh Shah said, uh, Salaki, it was almost a big crash. Yahweh Shah said, um, not to, 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 uh, basically, I paraphrase, and worry about what you're going to say. At that time, it's not even going to be you who's doing the talking, man. It's going to be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah through the Kapodash talking through you, man. Okay? It says, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, they shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. The nations are getting ready to, uh, to, to, to show their horns, man, beginning with Esau, Edom, because they hate Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They hate his people. They hate his laws, types, and commandments. They are hateful, uh, 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 wicked ass people, man. All right, but we're getting we're getting ready to be hated because we're the ones that are pronouncing the judgment. All we're doing is reading. We're telling you what's coming. All right, and but we're going to be held accountable for it. All right, it's those guys out there, you know, with those weird sheets on. And I'm just, you know some of the stupid shit I've heard over the years. It's all their fault. You know, they, 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 they talk about how America's gonna be destroyed, how America's Babylon the Great. So we're gonna be blamed, man. And you gotta be rooted. You gotta be rooted in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh rooted in the spirit, you know, because again, we can't say it enough. You know, the time of Jacob's trouble's coming, man, okay? It says, and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. So there's going to be a lot of men out, out, out here offended by this word, man. You know, who are going to stumble, who are going to uh, turn their back on Yahweh Bashim Shai. And it's going to lead to uh, 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 men hating other men, okay, uh, 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 over this truth, man. Okay? Many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. You know, you got this this uh, goon out here in the news recently, Geno Jennings, calling himself uh, Apostle Geno Jennings. Talking about, um, he's talking about, um, it's okay to eat pork, man. Huh? He's talking about it's okay for you to eat pork. And clearly, Slaki, like clearly it is not okay to eat pork, man. All right? There are certain things that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has off limits. For you Israelites and it's for your benefit it's for your well-being okay see a lot of what happens is a, a lot of our people are so stubborn and stiff-necked they think that they think that that's them missing out on somewhere that's some kind of heavy load that they have to bear no man the scripture says his uh, uh, commandments are not grievous okay he doesn't want you eating a uh, 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 garbage compactors man and that's what uh, uh, pigs are shrimp Okay, a lobster, a, a crab. They, they, those animals were created to, to, to clean. They're bottom feeders. So the Lord don't want you eating that shit. And it's so plain in the law. You go to the law and it tells you what is clean and what is unclean. Go to Leviticus. I'm not going to get it. But go to Leviticus, the 11th chapter. It'll tell you, for example, what you can and cannot eat. Okay? And a lot of our people just don't want to, they don't want to hear that, man. They want to hear smooth things they want to hear Gino Jennings telling them it's okay we're in the new covenant we're in the, uh, uh, the new covenant now you can eat whatever you want it's all horse shit man you know hey Yahweh Bashim Yahshua says matter of fact let's read it because there's a judgment coming specifically on those of our people who want to for example, eat swine's flesh. Okay? There's a judgment coming for that. So if you're doing that uh, right now and you don't turn from that, you're going to be destroyed. Man. Thus, thus say it the Bible. Alright? This is, um, get right to the point. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15, it says, For behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind 
to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire, right? Because he's going to return, all right, in the midst of World War III as the nukes are being shot off. Yahweh Shah is coming back, okay? And he's coming back angry, right? He ain't coming like he came when, when he came 2,000 years ago as a, as a baby and, and grew up and lived on this earth as a man. You know, that's one thing. Nah, this time he's coming back as an angelic powerhouse, all right, to, 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 to destroy, okay? It says, well, he has a twofold ministry, destruction and deliverance, okay? There's going to be a lot of destruction out here. It says, for by fire and by a sword will the Lord Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord Yahweh shall be many, right? So when these uh, uh, calamities begin to really take off, okay, you're going to see a lot of death out here, man. All right, the slain of the Lord is going to be many. It says, they that sanctify themselves, this is the point, and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst eating swine's flesh and the abomination in the mouth shall be consumed together saith the Lord Yahweh so if you want to continue to eat swine's flesh all right and listen to Gino Jennings that false apostle okay just know that you're going to be consumed man on the day of the Lord when he comes with, 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 with vengeance man when he comes with his fiery rebuke all right, that, 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 those flames, that fire is going to land on your head, man. All right, bottom line.